So I've heard his name a couple of different ways, but I probably won't have very much consistency in saying Joaquin Phoenix. Hey, it's Sadie, and I'm back with a new movie review. Now we're gonna talk about what I liked and what I did not like about this movie. If the story doesn't make sense, then nobody's gonna actually remember the movie. Hey, it's Sadie, and you're watching Flick Artina. Today we're gonna be talking about the movie The Joker, and I've decided to make this a spoiler rant. So, spoiler warning for those of you who have not seen this movie, uh, you probably shouldn't watch this review where I talk about what I did and did not like about this movie. Okay, so Joker stars Joaquin Phoenix. It's directed by Todd Phillips, and it features the story of this man who has... Been, it's basically a take on the origin story of the Joker from the comic books and the DC universe. All right, let's talk about the bad first so we can just get that out of the way, and then we'll go to the good stuff that I really enjoyed, which is a lot of the movie, but I also want to talk about the bad stuff right now. Okay, here's a spoiler. Um, they say that the Joker is related to Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne and Arthur Fleck are related. They are half-brothers, according to Arthur's mother. This whole deal and plot twist was very spoon-fed, and it was like, like, you know, you're like in a video game and they're like giving you these information and when there's like important information they put it in bold in the in the captions or whatever. That's kind of what it felt like to me. Just like, aha, clue! Here is a clue that we are going to reveal. See if you can catch it. It's a clue. That kind of thing I was like, I don't think I can get on board with this kind of thing. But then it turned out to be that it wasn't true, which wasn't a huge plot twist. I think that was one of the big plot twists that was going to happen but I didn't think it was that surprising. One thing that you have to know coming into this movie it's not a comic book movie. Todd Phillips didn't use any source material from the original comics at all so it's not a comic book movie. This is not the Joker as we know him in the, un the DC universe today. It is actually an artistic interpretation of what the Joker's origin story could be. It's one of those oh this could happen, could also not happen up for you to decide. Another thing that I did not like was some of the pacing involved in the movie. Yes, okay, all the beats were hit in this movie, but the pacing in some of the scenes were just, I was like, I was just so confused. And then like later I, I it was explained, but I was just like, this is, I, what, what? Um, okay. Another thing that I didn't like about this movie was that they tried to tie it into the DC universe, like the actual DC universe. Um, there's this one scene where, you know, basically Martha and, um, what's the dad's name? Bruce Wayne, Martha Wayne. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. Thomas! Thomas Wayne. That took me way longer. Anyways, there's the scene where they kill Thomas and Martha Wayne in the alley. Like, the Joker inspires that, and so, like, they kill that, and I feel like that was kind of just something that they added, like, as a reshoot. Like, the executive producers were like, this is such a good movie, we should maybe tie this into the DC universe, just in case we want to make more money. I liked how they tied it into it, but also at the same time, I was just like, uh, we could have done without, and it would have just, like, been a great... It, Joker is a standalone movie. I mean, come on, like, this... The, the, just let him have a moment, okay? Can we just let Joaquin Phoenix just take the spotlight, please? Because that would be great for everyone. I think those were the only two things that I really did not like about this movie. Other things did happen, but they were explained later or like I just kind of got over them. So there's a lot of mixed reviews on this movie as opposed to good, whether it's good or bad. And I think this was a good movie. There was this huge like media outburst about like, you know, this is gonna inspire mass murders and all this kind of stuff. And after watching the movie, I was like, no, if anything, it would prevent these murders. Because, spoiler alert, at the end of this movie, you just kind of feel sick with the world and you're just like, you feel bad for this guy, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't want to become you. It, like, it's, it, you just feel so dirty and like, ah, you're just like, I'm, I just feel kind of depressed right now and there's no hope for the world. If everybody was like this, everybody would be dead. So, yeah, that's my two cents on the media's opinion of the Joker, but I don't know, just don't sue me, please. I'm really not trying to offend anybody, it's just my opinion of things and how, like, my worldview plays into 
what I got out of this movie. So I think the best thing about this movie was Joaquin Phoenix. Um, this guy is a literal masterpiece. Everything that he did in this movie was just phenomenal and it added so much to this character through just his mannerisms, the way that he would say things, like his eye line and just the little quirks that he had that I think is very, very valuable in an actor. I also like feel sympathy for Joaquin Phoenix because he must have put a lot of effort into feeling this vulnerable to play a role like the Joker in this kind of context that Todd Phillips has created. Uh, I think another good thing about this movie was that was the parts that they don't show, the very subtle nuances of this movie. There's this part where um, Arthur is talking with um, this woman in the elevator and then he just like he continues this relationship with her but we don't really see that much there's not much character development with her and so I'm like she's just a useless side story that they never fully developed in post-production or like never was able to shoot completely during production but then at the end of it when the plot twist occurred I think this was the real plot twist was when his imagination like his relationship with her was a complete lie because it was all in his head and that's when you have the like this inception moment where you're like um is anything real? Who? What is real? Am I dreaming right now? And then you have a sixth sense moment where you're just like, ah, oh, I see dead people, okay. This movie is does a very good job of showing and not telling. Yes, there is some aspects where we're, they are blatantly telling you how to feel, but I feel like it, movies are a very visual experience. So if the director is showing you what to feel, then that's kind of all a part of the experience that they are trying to craft for you. Because like, you know, movies are like all visual and sound and those two things bring forth emotion and feelings and stuff. And sometimes if they're really good at their jobs, you can like taste what they're tasting or feel what they're feeling. Like you can feel the velvet curtains that they're running their hand against and you're just like, wow, this is incredible. Yes, the director does tell you what to feel, but it's also like all in the point of view of Arthur Fleck. This is all in the point of view of this guy and so we're experiencing everything vicariously through this character and so the reason why the director is you know has made creative decisions to show you things is because that's the viewpoint that he wanted to go with and so like creativity is can be taken in different ways and interpreted either as bad or good but I think in this case it was a very good decision that's my rant we're gonna go on to the production design because <laughs> that's just a great segue costume design makeup cinematography lighting everything the production itself was a work of art you can tell that every single department was making the same movie they all had a unity involved within them and intertwined all of their experience and their expertise together to create this beautiful motion picture that we have now as the Joker. I'm not saying this is the best movie of all time, I'm just saying this was a really fun experience for me. It was entertaining, at the same time it was creative, and at the same time it was addressing social issues that should be brought up in entertainment so that we are more aware of them and we can do something about it. Those were the main things that I wanted to talk about. I'm sure there was a lot more that I wanted to say. I will probably leave it down in the description box. I have more to say, I'm sure. If you comment down below, I will tell you what I wanted to say because I just don't remember what I wanted to say. At this point, I'm just word vomiting at this moment. Anyways, for the question of the week, thank you guys so much for sticking around this long. The question for the week, it's fun. It's for you guys. The question of the week is, do you think that they are going to tie this into the DC universe like with Batman and everything? Let me know in the comment section down below. Before you scroll all the way down, there's a couple of buttons that are specifically for me and for you. So the first button is the subscribe button. You will subscribe to my channel that, and you will let me know that you really like my content. Second button is the like button. That shows me that you really like spoiler rants or whatever I said in this review. But the bell notification is actually specifically for you, like the comment section. It is for you. If you press it, you will be one of the first people to know when I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great random Thursday. I'll see you on the other side of the screen. Bye.